Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. What to add um, after these beautiful speeches by those two previous speakers, Mr. Sonam Wanchuk and Mr. Anil Kesharisha, except to say that maybe that I wholeheartedly <laughs> agree with this wisdom, although my two brothers are bankers. <laughs> um, and then maybe also just to add that I'm very proud to say that I think we in the West, we are, I think, slowly starting to embrace this wisdom of harmony of head, hand and heart, because I think we have come to realize with our heads that this is the only way forward to sustainable development for healthy people on a healthy planet. So half of us, and this is well, I mean the older and the younger in this room, will need to reskill in the next five years. Because as you say, we will not keep the same job forever and we need to be diverse in teams and to have diverse skills. But also the very technological disruption that is transforming jobs can also provide the key to create them and to help us learn new skills. And the vast majority of business leaders now expect employees to pick up new skills on the job. Critical thinking and problem solving top the list of skills that employers believe will grow in prominence in the next years. And also what is emerging are skills like active learning, which was mentioned earlier, resilience, stress tolerance and flexibility, and I would also add empathy. I think that's very important. The European Union has launched a pact for skills where we invite companies and workers and national and regional and local authorities and social partners and cross industry and sectoral organizations and education and training providers and chambers of commerce and employment services to join hands with the public sector and to take concrete action to upskill and to reskill people which is absolutely necessary. Because in order to move forward and to create perspectives for a just and sustainable future, we need to invest in people through a human-centered approach to the future of work. That means investing in jobs, investing in skills, and investing in social protection. It also means supporting gender equality, because I mean, when I was making a speech a few weeks ago on the International Women's Day, I thought same as you, Mr. Sonam, how come we have one day <laughs> where we promote gender equality? Whereas this should just be any day of, of the year and it just should just be a no-brainer because we really need the entire talent that we have in our societies and not just half of it in order to sustain sustainable development, sustainable economic development in a just and inclusive society. And it also means that we need to invest in the institutions for the labor market to have adequate wages, to have reasonable working hours and safety and health, as well as fundamental rights at work. And it means adopting policies that promote an enabling environment for sustainable enterprises and for social entrepreneurs who give back also to society, economic growth and decent work for all. So I, I've been very happy and very proud to be that uh, Glocal has uh, chosen me to be part of this jury. So I've been very delighted to see all of these incredible applications. So um, I would like to congratulate the winners for having been selected for this award and to wish you all the best, of course, in your endeavors to take this campaign of upscaling and reskilling forward so that many others will follow your example and will come also to your level of skills and entrepreneurship. Um, the European Union here in Nepal has been supporting education and also technical and vocational education and training with the Council for Technical Education and Vocational Training, with British Council, with the Chambers of Commerce, so that we can join hands, private and public sector, um, to assist the government of Nepal um, to prepare the workforce to be themselves also created of jobs and to contribute to the process of sustainable um, economic development and to nation building. So I would like to congratulate the organizers of the Skills Week for putting together this amazing event. Thank you very much.